Queens and Kings of Swift. We're going to be covering deleting and moving table view rows. We're going to learn about table view editing mode, changing bar button item titles. We'll use the table view commit for row at method. We'll learn about editing style, specifically the delete style. You'll learn to delete from editing mode. You'll learn to delete with a swipe left. And we'll learn the table view move row at method. Swifter, let's get moving. Table view row moving. Hello, Swifters. It is time to row, row, row the table view, and we're going to work with table view rows. We're going to add an edit button, and when we click it, we're going to get this nice little animation over here, which will allow us to delete rows if we want to. It'll also allow us to move rows, so we can move, grab on this little icon over here that iOS is going to give us, and move a row from one location to another. And our code will also give us the ability to swipe left to delete rows. Now first we're going to add an edit button, and the edit button is going to link to the table view's editing mode. So editing mode gives us a few features. When we turn editing mode on, we set editing mode to true, we get a little animation and then the display of these buttons which will allow us to delete cells. We'll also get some icons on the right hand side that allow us to move cells around. You won't see the move markers until we add our move function at the end. Now when we're in editing mode, we also disable the add button. We don't want users to add data when they're in the middle of deleting or moving data. And we set the edit button to done. Done signals, hey, I want to be done with editing mode. I want to get out of editing mode and get back into the standard mode. We'll just reset the Boolean to get out of editing mode. So let's go ahead and implement this. I have one thing up here, which is tongue in cheek. It says what changes are highlighted in green. There's nothing highlighted in green. This is as close to a software Lego as you're going to get. Let's build it. Quick reminder to commit and push after every video too. Always a good practice. And now first thing is to add that edit bar button item. So we're going to get into main storyboard, click on the library, find bar button item, drag it over and drop it in the navigation bar just to the left of the plus button in our to-do list view controller. Then with this bar button selected, we're going to go into the attributes inspector. Under system item, there is an edit option. Don't select that because if we selected that, we wouldn't be able to change the title from edit to done and back to edit again. Instead, we're going to keep it custom and we're going to change the title to edit. Now let's get into assistant editor mode. So we'll click on to do list view controller dot swift and option click on main storyboard. We're side by side. Then we're gonna control drag over from this plus button, add an IB outlet and name it add bar button and click connect. And now let's create an IB action for the edit button. And I'm gonna add this action to the end of my class code. So just above the curly, which is just above the extension, I'll control drag over from edit change the type to UI bar button item and give it the name of edit button pressed. So the first thing we code into this action is we're going to check to see if the table view is in editing mode. So we'll say if table view dot is editing and look at the description and code completion. It says it's a Boolean value that determines whether or not a table view is in editing mode. It's going to be true or false. This is exactly what we want. So press return, open and close curlies. Let's put an else in here with open and close curlies too. And let's code the else part first. So if we're in the false clause, then table view dot is editing is false. So what we want to do is we want to set it to true. So we'll type in table view dot set editing. Notice the description and code completion toggles the table view into and out of editing mode. This is exactly what we want. Press enter. Editing should be true. Animated should be true as well. Now that we're in editing mode, we want to set the title of that edit button to done. And we're going to do that through the sender. Remember, sender is the button that was clicked on. You see up here when we create an IB action, it adds that sender right in here. And it's a UI bar button item. That's the edit button. So we'll just say sender dot title equals and in double quotes done. Then we want to disable the add bar button because we don't want you to add a record when you're in editing mode. So we say add bar button dot is enabled equals false. And in the true clause, we're going to do the exact opposite of these three lines. So I'll highlight the three lines, command C to copy, click between the curlies and the true clause, paste it in here, set table view dot set editing to false, but keep the animation to true. Sender dot title in here should be edit and add bar button is enabled should be true. Let's build and run and see how this looks. We start off, we are not in editing mode. We click on edit. We are in editing mode now. We can see the icons. We've changed to done. We've disabled the plus button. Of course, none of these delete buttons work, but we'll add that functionality in a bit. So we're in editing mode. We click on done. We get out of editing mode. The icons go away. We change to edit. And we enable the plus button. Looking good. Let's do the rest. Now to delete table view rows. And we do that using a table view function called commit for row at. Whenever we try to delete a record here, it's going to trigger this function. We're going to check to see if our editing style is delete. If it is delete, we're about to delete something. So go ahead and remove it from our to-do array, then delete the row from the table view. 
up here, what's going to change if we try to implement this code in another app? Only the array that holds the data. An extra bonus, not only do you get these stylish delete buttons that show up when you set the table view to editing mode, you can also swipe left and delete a row that way. I hear the young people call that Tinder style. So let's put these next two functions inside of the table view extension since they're focusing on table views. That's a great place for them. Type in commit. Make sure that you select the function that says asks the data source to commit the insertion or deletion of a specific row in the receiver. That's what we want. Press return. Now this function works for both insertion and deletion. We're going to implement it just for deletion. And the way that we're going to tell if we're about to delete is we're going to check this editing style value that's passed into the function. We'll just say if editing style equals equals dot. You get three different options in here. Delete, insert, none. We want delete. Press return. Open and close curlies. Now we just want to remove the element from the array. So we'll say to do array dot remove at. So this function wants an index value of the element to remove. And hey, the function passes in the index path where the user swiped. So what we should pass in here is index path dot row. So now that we remove the element from our array, let's remove the row from the table view. So we'll say table view dot delete rows. This is one of those plural functions. There's not a singular. So we have to put in our index path inside of brackets, pass it in as an array of one. So that's brackets index path with, we'll say dot fade. That's a nice animation for deletion. Now let's build and run and see how we look. Here's our app, click edit, get in editing mode. Maybe we should delete take a vacation. There's no time for vacation when there are apps to build. But no, I'm going to click on done, get out of editing mode, and swipe left and select delete. Take a vacation goes away. One more function to implement, and this one will allow us to move rows about our table view. This is another table view function. It is called move row at. It passes in two parameters for us. One is a source index path. That is where your move is starting from. The other is a destination index path. That is where the move is going to end at. So what we're going to do, this function will be called automatically whenever the user is in editing mode and is moving a row about. We're going to make a backup copy of what is about to be moved because we're going to delete it first from the source and we're going to insert it at the destination. Now, since we delete it from the source first, what we're going to insert is that copy we just made. Let's go ahead and build this. So Aladdin, this is the final function in the extension. And if I start to type in move in here, you want to select the option move row at. Note that there's a can move row at. You don't want that one. You want move row at. You should see the description that says tells the data source to move a row at a specific location in the table view to another location. That's what we want. Press return to accept. Now, the moving of the table view row is going to be handled by iOS, but we need to handle moving our data. And the way that we move data is we delete the element from our source index path dot row and we insert the data at our destination index path dot row. But since we're going to delete first, what we need to do is make a backup copy before we delete it. So we'll create a constant let item to move equals to do array, our array that holds the data, bracket source index path dot row. That's where it is before the deletion. Now that we backed up that element, let's type in to do array dot remove at, and it'll be at source index path dot row. Now we've just got to insert that element at our destination. So to do array dot insert item to move at destination index path dot row. That's all our code, folks. Let's build and run and see how it looks. Here we are. Let's click on edit, move, take a vacation up to top. You've earned that because you've been doing so much work, Swifter. Hope you're feeling good about your table view. You are deleting rows. You are moving rows. You are a master of the table view. All right, Swifter, let's reinforce learning by doing a challenge, which is implementing exactly what you've just learned. But in the EU project, you should implement an edit bar button item. When you click edit, we should enter table view editing mode. The bar button items title should switch from edit to done. We should disable the add bar button item. We should be able to move cells around. We'll move the iris to top in anticipation of St. Patrick's Day. You should be able to click on a cell to delete or swipe left to delete. Swifter, you can do it. Why don't you pause? Give it your best shot. You can do it. And resume. Let's see how you did. So we'll head over in the EU project into our main storyboard. We're going to add a bar button item to the upper left hand corner of the navigation controller. We're going to set the title to edit. We'll get into assistant editor mode. Click on view controller. Option click on main storyboard. Control drag over from add bar button item. Create an IB outlet named add bar button. Scroll to the end of our class just before the extension. 
and make a space for our IB action for the edit button. Now, again, as a coder that's learning new concepts, I always advise that you go in and type in all of your code, taking a look at each line, making sure you understand what it does. But to illustrate the point that we made earlier, we showed that we didn't have to change our code at all from what we wrote for edit button pressed. And we only had to make one small change for deleting rows and just change the name of the data source when moving rows. So while I hope that you typed in all the code and took a look and made sure you understood every line, I'll show you that we can reuse our code in new apps and it's almost copy and paste reusable. I'm gonna open the To Do app and switch to the code that we just wrote, find the edit button IB action, highlight the entire function from its definition line down to its last curly, copy it with a command C, head back into our other code, paste it in, notice that I don't have a connection, I'm gonna click in the open circle, drag it over into edit, connection established. Head back to to-do list, copy those last two functions, the commit editing style and the move row at, paste them back into the end of our extension. Xcode will highlight the lines I need to change. To-do array becomes members. I'll change it in one place in one function, three places in the other function. I'm missing a curly. Up oh, here it is, add it. Now we're good. Let's build and run. And it toggles perfectly. Now the Danish want to be moved to the top. We'll go down to UK. Should we delete them this way? Or should we swipe left Tinder style? EU, you no longer have UK. But our app is looking extraordinary. I hope you're feeling good about your skills. Your rows are moving. Your skills are moving. Keep at it.